Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with some more Shadowrun Returns. Last time we busted into the Universal Brotherhood and we started shooting the place up and it was glorious. This time here I uh, plan on continuing with that trend and killing everything in sight. Uh, let's see here. First things first, I noticed that we have taken a little bit of damage, but neither of uh, the people who have taken damage uh, appear to have the status of wounded, so I can't magically heal them. Uh, right now, Harlequin's run into the room, and he's uh, doing something very stupid by, you know, attacking people with his sword. Uh, there's also uh, two bugs that we're going to need to contend with, so I'm starting to consider maybe moving our guys into the room. Uh, I'm thinking about, you know, what, what, what I should be doing, let's say, strategically. So, let's see, what do we do? Har does Harlequin move in and attack, or do we maybe have him stay back a little bit? Huh, and have the other people move in first. Sort of, I feel like him and, let me see, he's got his Aegis Launcher. Him and the Ghost are kind of necessary to keep alive uh, because they have those Aegis Launchers and they can actually use them. Uh, Alex X has one, but she's absolutely terrible with it. Uh, I think she is, anyways. So let's actually go ahead and get things started, maybe with uh, the Brotherhood Gunner. I get the feeling that he's probably going to be, ooh, I'm not sure. True Form Venom. I think we could take him down rather, rather quickly. So what we're, I'm going to do is I'm going to run up to the Brotherhood Gunner. Um, yeah, because these these creatures are, are likely actually I guess they might actually be ranged. Uh, I can't remember. I think. Darn it! I, I may have made a mistake. Well, anyways, we're going to go ahead and use uh, Quick Strike, which is going to do an additional little bit of damage. There we go. Did three damage. It's free damage. I might as well take advantage of it, right? And come on, you can take him down. You can take him down. Yes. All right. Now that he's down. I don't know, maybe get Portex to jump into the room and start shooting at bugs. That works. Move on in. Um, you know, I was thinking about uh, Shadowrun the other day. You know, I, I do that. I'll, I'll be thinking about games that I'm playing. I'm just, you know, I, I, that, 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 that's a thing that happens, right? And uh, one, one thing that sort of came to mind, I started thinking, I was like, you know what? I think part uh, one of the problems I have with the game is that e there are a lot of really interesting characters in here. You know, there's, there's some interesting characters, some cool characters that I like. Um, you know, you, you got Coyote, who was really cool. Uh, you've got, you know, you know, you got, you got the, the janitor, who's kind of a cool guy. You know, you've got a lot of cool characters. Uh, Harlequin, he's, he's kind of neat, actually. I kind of like him. He's quirky. But the problem is that the game spreads these characters out, and they don't really they don't do anything with them. It's like they show up for like one scene, look cool, and then they're gone. And I feel like, as a result, there's fewer characters that I really feel, uh... I don't know, I don't feel as... Attached to? I think that's the, probably the, the best way I, I can put it. Is, I don't feel as attached to these characters because I haven't spent as much time with them. Okay, come on, we can drop this thing. Two and then you're gonna need to reload your gun. Luckily, the ghost also has one of these uh, Aegis launchers, so we're gonna go ahead and use him, and hopefully it's 68% he can take it out. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna actually get him to reload because he's gonna be needed to help with uh, this one here. Actually, if... Ah, uh, I could have actually done without that. Anyways, we'll have him try to hit this creature from over here. Now, two of our guys got hit. Um, Harlequin is wounded for a uh, nine, so we're gonna go ahead and use my healing spell, heal wound on Harlequin to try to help the guy out, help him out, and then let's go ahead and maybe, I don't know, do I have anything else I can, no, I don't really have anything else I could, uh, cast maybe armor on a Harlequin, because I think he's gonna be the next target of the next attack, so give him some sort of protection, and, uh, then, uh, I don't know, power ball, power bolt the bug for 14 damage. But yeah, so I was thinking about these different characters and I'm like, you know what, if they, if they would have slowed things down a little bit and then, uh, I don't know, maybe, mm, let me see here. Aimed burst. Does the same amount of damage, but there's a higher chance of hitting. All right, cool. Well, at least he hit it. Good job, Portex. Uh, yeah, I, I think I, I think I think it would have been overall a, a much better experience. Oh, hello, we're getting flanked. That is cool. 
I was not a get I was not expecting to get attacked from behind. That is very cool. All right. So, but I'm going to move Buddy up here into the room and I'm actually going to have Alex uh maybe petrify this guy. I could do that. If I petrify him, it takes him out of combat. Come on, work. Please work. Petrified. All AP lost. So now he has been basically crowd controlled. We can just focus fire on this thing. So let's actually start things off with a little bit of uh, gunfire. Oh, wow. That's good. That's good. I think we're going to have Harlequin run in with his sword, take a nice big slash at this thing, and take it out. Oh, maybe two slashes. All right, cool. Then I'm going to put him behind cover and get ready to uh, open up with the Aegis Launcher. Now, Portex. He can't really do anything. Let's actually just get him to reload his gun then. So, yeah, I think that would have been a, a better approach. There's, there's, a, there's a few little gripes I have with the game. Like, I've enjoyed it. I think the, the core mechanics, like the the, the, the the combat and everything, is solid. It's I've had a lot of fun with uh, the core game. Like, the, 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 the combat is good. Uh, talking to people, but because of its linearity, you run into this sort of problem where if you pick a skill maybe later on, you may never get a chance to use it uh, because, you know, you may only have one or two chances to use a particular ability. Um, well, okay, sorry. L let, me, let me shoot this thing first and then I'll explain what I mean by that. Because uh, I'm thinking, I'm sorry, I'm thinking like, um, if you, you know, you, you have the high charisma, right? If you have the high charisma, then you've got uh, those uh, those etiquettes, right? You can speak with the, the etiquette corporate and etiquette this and etiquette that. And uh, I feel like you only get like one or two chances with those. So let's say you see something cool. You're like, oh, I'd like to be able to use that later on. And so you choose that skill. And you then you kind of run into this sort of problem where... Huh. I'm not sure. Do I do I move in and then? This is gonna take what three all three actions for me to fire this. And I, I'll kept, catch myself. Okay, I can actually cast it a little bit further back. So I'll cast this, and it's still petrified, right? Yeah. So this thing this thing is totally screwed right now. So we'll we'll blast it with fire now and. A power bolt, and then I'll run into the room and wait for it to, uh, to start moving. Um, so yeah, it's, um, I think if the game would have had a little bit more, a little bit more freedom to it, rather than just being sort of a color, because this is kind of, I would call this like the, the Call of Duty of, uh, tactical strategy games. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably uh, a decent way to put it. Uh, it's, let me see... Oh, well, I guess we're not going to really do much overwatching here. Uh, switch to the uh, rifle and overwatch that entrance and wait for the uh, the bug to come on through. Okay, he's not coming through. Um, all right, I guess I'll... I don't know, I guess we'll wait. I, Jason, you could have just killed him. Why are you waiting for it? Like, you, you had the thing dead to rights. I know, I know. All right, well, well, we'll kill it here and then wait for its ghost to come into the room. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, if there was a little bit more freedom. Now I'm not saying like I understand there was a budget, right? And I understand that you can't. Uh, there are there are limitations to what you can do, uh, but at the same time, I kind of feel like it. Uh, if they would add a little bit more branching, just a little bit, it would have been so much better. All right, hey ghost. Of course, you're going to fire at Alex, and Alex is going to be right out in the open. Uh, do your best. Missed. Uh, okay, move. Because if she stays there, it's just going to take free shots at her. And she's terrible with this gun, so you move back there. Okay, you just watch the door, and you watch the door as well. And you just, you just keep being you, Portex. I think it's going to regenerate and come back. See, I didn't, I didn't want to get all around it because then it opened up, opened up my entire team to getting hit by by it. But I guess it, we all kind of took one damage, so I guess we are are all a little bit wounded. Um, I don't know. 
So yeah, if there would have been at least maybe a little bit more variety, like um, maybe some random Shadowrun missions, like we had that one that I, f I felt was optional. Uh, you know, something like that, a little bit more uh, often would have been cool. I don't think he's gonna come, is he? No, he's not. Oh, you crafty. Okay. Um, I gotta think of a way to, to, to lure the thing out. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to run out into the open and kill the bug. All right, we're, we're gonna start things off with a uh, flamethrower. Yeah, everyone's just gonna have to rush in and kill it. So once it's dead, oh crap, I didn't kill it. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, the ghost guy is going to uh, run into the room. He's going to take two actions, and then he'll be able to take his third action to shoot uh, the bug with his uh, rifle. There we go. So yeah, a little bit more, we'll say, branching would have been nice. Uh, some branching, some... Um, maybe some little side missions. Uh, or at least, you know, even if they couldn't do that, maybe take some of the missions that we already have, and then somehow work it out so that, you know, we don't need to, to, to do them all in the same order. Uh, you know, that, that's a possibility. Maybe... Uh... And, and maybe, maybe, maybe make some more recurring characters. Because, as, like I said, as it is, I feel like all the characters, are, they're, they're there, and then they're gone. And then you're like, oh, okay. That, that's cool. You don't really get a chance to really get to know them. Which is really strange, because normally I'm all about, uh, all about gameplay, but it seems like... I'd say the majority of my complaints... Uh, with the game tend to be almost story related. No, I, I'd still lay out because, yeah, and, and I'm sorry. Thinking about it, I'm like, no, no. Uh, you know, having different missions to do is not a story related complaint. All right, let's go ahead and explore this uh, this area. Oh, this is a dead end. All right, so it looks like we have to sort of loop back through the the uh, the area that we got flanked from. All right, Portex, why don't you go ahead and uh, catch up with the rest of the guys? My my decking guy who's doing I have no idea what. I'm going to use two actions with Alex X to go ahead and uh, heal. Who's, who, 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 everyone's got like wounded one. Um, all right. We'll give them all a little bit of health back. <laughs> oh, there you go. You got one hit, one hit point. Now go check around the corner. All right, it's uh, looks like a door. Well, so we'll run on through the door, exit this character from the scene. Yes, I would like it if you could do that for me. I probably should have made sure that all the guns were reloaded. Um, okay, you're you're loaded up. You're ready to go. Cool. Uh, Portex, what about you? Are you uh, you look like you were sufficiently armed. Awesome. Have you run around and head you uh, he and head you off to the next room? There we go. Uh, I can't cast heal. <laughs> It'll actually cost me minus 16 HP to cast. Uh, I kind of get the feeling that it's not worth it to do that for one health. Yeah, just just a thought. All right, so we're heading off to the next area. This is this is actually kind of exciting. I'm kind of like, okay, what kind of horrors lie in? Oh, I should have. I should have actually sent her through on the last turn. Anyways. Doesn't matter. We're, we're, uh, we're, we are moving on to the next area that we're going to. Into the depths. The cold, utilitarian facilities of the Brotherhood's private areas break away and degenerate into sprawling subterranean tunnels. Tunnels that were not crafted by the hands of man. The air is foul with the smell of decaying flesh and something else. A rank, stinging acid bite that hits noses and eyes hard. Wet, squirming no noises echo throughout the tunnels, punctuated by low moans and the occasional gasp. For what? You can't tell. One thing that you can't tell, though, Ada's works. You shoulder your launcher and keep going. All right. So it sounds like we're in hell. Cool. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got some more karma. Nice. New objective. Fight your way to the bottom of the hive. This sounds like it'll be fun. We continue on, down into the belly of the beast. <laughs> you enjoying this or if this ain't no game, or perhaps you could uh, you should construct an epic poem about our adventure here. <laughs> I like that one. It would not be the first written about me, to be sure. I shall consider it. Now, onward! You hear him muttering rhymes to himself as he walks. 
I like this character. See, if he would have been introduced earlier, maybe, or something, I think that would have been immensely better than what, what the way they, they've handled it so far. Um, alright, I'll heal the other guys first. Just because they have lower stats and I'm kind of expecting them to get hit before, before, uh, Alex. Um, alright, let me see, how does the following area open up? There's a, sort of, it goes straight, and there's a, an opening up into the corner. Now, there's also, it looks like a, there's a bit of a, a wall here that might break away. So we need to, uh, to keep our wits about us. Alright, you have your gun, so move on up to the boxes. Oh, there's a, uh, thing we could have sent a drone through. That's cool. Alright, you, Overwatch forward. Uh, Harlequin guy, why don't you move on up next to, actually, actually, let's get Portex up there. Mm, but he won't be able to overwatch because he moves a lot slower than the others. That's fine. Let's get him up there. Harlequin, uh, maybe, uh, I'm gonna move him over here. A little bit to the side, and that way there I'm kinda hoping maybe he'll get a different, a better vantage point, like looking around the corner. Um, okay, let's have him move up a little bit more, and then finally run behind some boxes. All right, doesn't look like anything's, uh, ahead of us. Famous last words, yes, but I don't see anything anyways. I knew it! See? I knew it! I am a smart. All right, um, so I'm actually gonna have Mr. Harlequin buddy here guy. I'm going to have him fall back. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put uh, some armor on those of us who are not behind uh, behind cover. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, armor on Alex X and Harlequin. I'm going to maybe use these two guys as sort of uh, rear guards. Well, maybe not rear. Maybe that's not the proper term. They're, they're going to be kind of uh, attacking from the rear. Alex and uh, Mr. Harlequin guy are going to be... Uh, moving forward, or are, are gonna be sort of the guys who move up forward. Oh, yes, and this this one's gonna open up. This is good, definitely going to open up. Now I find it intriguing that that this happened in the middle of our turn because I was like, I didn't I didn't think the ghost had used up all of his turns, and yet here we are, where Alex appears to have used her action. He's used his. Yeah, it's it's kind of really weird that. Maybe he has? Are these just displaying incorrectly? I suppose that's a possibility. Anyways, Cortex, why don't you go ahead and gun this thing down, please? That would be excellent if you could do so. Um, that SMG is really, really weak. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and hit it with a, a flamethrower. And I'm kind of hoping now that it's d dead, we can switch over to the Aegis and overwatch the bug. There we go. Oh, you idiot! <laughs> the ghost bug popped up right there! Why would you waste your ammo on it? Yeah, that's right. Pick on Portex. <laughs> you know, nobody likes Portex. <gasps> oh, why would you waste your ammo? Now, ugh, now you've only got one shot, you freaking moron. Okay. You shoot that. You reload your stupid gun. You... Switch over to your Aegis Launcher. You finish this bug off. Because obviously Harlequin is a moron. Uh, you're gonna need to re... No, you know what? Don't bother reloading your gun. Uh, use it on... Use your gun on... <laughs> I don't know which one to get him to shoot at. I love that he kind of like... Points one direction, then he crouches, and then he's... Wherever your cursor is going, he's like looking around. I'm sorry. Um, let's focus. Let's, let's focus! Uh, I feel like this thing here, let's see, what, HP 80, now this thing's probably a little bit stronger, and it's really not good to have him behind us, uh, Arlequin, why don't you go ahead and, uh, hit this thing with one, your free, uh, quick attack, doing nine damage, and then hit him with your sword, doing another measly eight, Cortex, you've got no actions left, but for some reason it showed that you had one, Alex has three, we're gonna crowd control this thing. All right, so he's this thing's not 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 of any concern to us anymore. So let's go ahead and uh, take out the true form walker. But you missed from that range because you're 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 excellent special forces guy. I'm proud of you, guy. I'm proud of you. Really? Yep. 
totally proud of you. Huh. All right. Well, Portex, you got one action left. Do some damage. Pro prove yourself not to be totally useless. Uh, can we heal uh, Portex? Yes. So we'll heal him, then use Flamethrower and a Power Bolt to uh, heal this ground over here. Oddly enough, I saw a little uh, green, you know, health sign pop up over here for whatever reason. I don't know. All right, there we go. Thing is dead. Now, Harlequin, this time here, if you could so kindly switch over to the Aegis Launcher and Overwatch only down here, please. Yeah, you, you reload your gun. Uh, how long are they uh, petrified? I think one more turn. So we don't need to focus on him just yet. So let's just keep Overwatch here and then... What? It got a chance to get an action off before we could... I hate this game. I don't really hate it. I hate this game. <laughs> Alright, so you got one action left. Why don't we go ahead and start shooting this petrified thing because next turn it's going to be start moving. Uh, Portex, you're about to run out of ammo. And you wasted it. Good job. And you've got no actions left. So, that's cool, I guess. Um, alright. So I still have three actions. I could go ahead and confuse the thing. To buy myself a little extra time. Or I could just hit it with ball lightning. Let's see, what does more damage? I think flamethrower just does more one, uh, one, um, target damage. But I like the idea of doing some AP damage to it as well. Let's just hit it with fire, uh, flamethrower. Flamethrower, then uh, follow it up with two power bolts, and if that doesn't do the trick, we'll have Harlequin run in with the sword and finish it off. And then that should uh, set it up perfectly to kill its ghost incarnation. Um, make sure your gun is loaded. Let's see, two actions. So the, fir the first action is to kill it, the second action is to set up Overwatch. There we go. There we go, we're not doing too bad. It's gonna hit him though. That's right, because they get the axe right away. Before Overwatch even has a chance. That is so annoying. Uh, he's wounded for what? One damage? That's it? It looked like he took, what, fifth? Maybe I... Okay, maybe I, I totally misunderstood what just happened. I thought he had taken like 15 points of damage, so I was like, great! Um, okay. Alright, cool. No complaints. Never mind. Disregard my, my, my complaining. It's, uh, incorrect or something. Now, I, I'm curious if it would be possible to get through this part without the uh, Aegis. Like, I'm sure he'd have the gun, but it seems like you need to have at least three shots. And if I'm remember cor remembering correctly, those things sort of regenerate and come back after, like, one action. So if you don't take it out in, like, the one action, um, you're, you're kind of screwed, aren't you? Maybe. I don't know. All right, we'll move Alex up a little bit more. She doesn't seem to see anything, so... Move her all the way into the next area. You know, right out there for uh, for all the bugs to go ahead and ambush her. Huh. It's quiet. Too quiet. Uh, okay, so I'm actually going to set him up there. Buddy is out of ammo, but he should have some action points back. Not a whole lot, evidently. All right, Portex, come on, keep up. Yeah, it's definitely showing that, uh, you know, bringing a Decker along, I'm like, ah, maybe that wasn't the best, uh, the best choice. And if there is no opportunity at all for, um, for decks to be used on this, I'm gonna, it's gonna kind of illustrate my point, what I was talking about earlier, about how, uh, uh should I save the healing? No, screw it, Just might as well use it. By the time we get into the next fight, I'm gonna- it's gonna have sort of come back anyways. Um, it kind of, it'll- it'll, uh, like I said, it'll kind of uh, illustrate my point that, you know, not every class is useful right to the end. You know, it's better to have a certain class with certain parts, and, you know, it actually might be part of the reason why, um, I got frustrated with my, um, in my first playthrough. Uh, like, I, I didn't play through the entire game the first time. Uh, I, actually, I, I actually played Shadowrun when it first came out, because I had kickstarted it, right? And... Uh, the game did not allow for uh, saving in a mission. It's, it was all checkpoint based, which was absolutely infuriating. Uh, but anyways, 
part of the oh crud uh, he's gonna get totally killed or something don't get killed or something guy oh he, they've got swords okay cool maybe they'll miss sweet oh he's got fireballs maybe he'll miss darn it 20 damage buddy you need to get the heck out of there okay that's cool I, I, I wasn't talking to you but if you want to run out of here that's cool too Okay, we're gonna get pull Harlequin back. We're actually gonna get him um, back here behind cover. We're gonna get him healed, but I can't because I just used my healing, didn't I? Yes, I did, because I'm an idiot. Great. Yay, go me. Um, okay, I'll move him up a bit and put him on Overwatch by looking, uh, looking at the door. Uh, we're gonna at least put armor on... Us two, and and the ghost. Although everyone knows they're just gonna target uh, Portex because Portex is pitiful. <laughs> but yeah, um, my first time trying to play through the game, I was uh, I played as a, a Decker. There we go, nice. And uh, you know, obviously there was a bit of a learning curve, but the pro uh, sort of you you combine the fact that. Uh, I'm still learning the game with a character class that is kind of underutilized, doesn't have the power in a stand-up fight, and the ability to to not uh, the inability to, ability to save in the middle of a fight or anywhere within a level. And it, this was an absolutely frustrating game on release, but it has since been patched a lot and uh, it's, a, it's a whole lot more enjoyable now. I think part of the reason why I maybe didn't want to keep playing it was probably because of that frustration uh, initially, but that, that, that got fixed and I was able to continue this series. And I, here we are, we're almost at the end. We, we are nearing the end of this, um, near the end of the playthrough. You know, we're getting close to the end of uh, of the game. If I'm, I, it, it, I, at least I think so. This feels like the end, like we're, we're going in, we're gonna go take down the big bad. We've already had the big reveal. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that it's, uh, this is it. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe toss- Oh, I already put armor on him, darn it. That was a waste. Because I can't cast at him, but I want to stay behind cover, so I was kind of trying to think of what sort of utility spells. I thought about using ball lightning, and maybe just sort of area of effect, but I didn't have enough action points for that anyways. Alright, so we'll just- We'll wait. We'll end the turn, let them run on in and get hit by overwatch, or get missed, that works too. Uh, okay. So this guy here is going to get, uh, dang, Portex, just load your gun, your, your aim is pitiful here and I'm scared you're going to shoot us. Alright, uh, Harlequin, you could probably run in and take this guy out with just your sword, why don't you do that? It's like, yeah, 16 damage, yeah, 16 damage, uh, he's getting pretty low, we probably take him out, yeah, go ahead, yeah, 32 damage, critical hit, nice. All right, uh, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and move up our ghost guy. Have him move up, sort of secure the area. I like his outfit. He's, 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 he's a cool character. Uh, all right, we're gonna move Alex in. Now, what is this? I'm trying to figure out what this is. I've been looking at this for a little while. Are those eggs? Oh, and that's like a guy's body, so they're like, laying eggs on top of people's bodies and stuff. It's kind of like an incubator type area, isn't it? See, I, I feel like a rigger's got a lot of use. Uh, there was this, the small passage right here that they could send a, a, a drone through, and there's another little passage here we could send a drone through. I'm kind of like, oh man, I should have brought a rigger with me. Oh, there's another one right here. We could have sent a, a drone through and uh, flanked the enemy from the behind. Ah, uh, darn it. All right, well, let's just move on up. I uh, can't get behind any cover. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. Now, we're about to go ahead and enter the next room. However, unfortunately, I am out of time for today. So we're going to go ahead and save the game. And we're going to... Oh, you know what? Actually, before we before we stop, we, let's take a look at the, the spending karma. Uh, we've got eight points. I don't think we can do anything with eight points. Uh, our quickness is pretty high, but we can't get all the way up there. Um, let's see. Strength... 
Uh, let's see, willpower. We back. Well, wow, we've actually maxed out our uh, our magic abilities. So really, the only other thing that we uh, we might want to increase would be our quickness. And we've actually maxed out our body as well. So quickness, we could put points into ranged combat, but I feel like there's no point to that because Alex has her. You know, she has decent spells as it is. I'd rather save up on the off chance we'll get more karma. And I'll be able to go ahead and put one more point into uh, avoiding uh, being hit by physical attacks. So we're not going to spend any karma just yet. Um, if we get into a really tough spot and for whatever reason, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe one of our characters dies or I don't know something and we don't have a, an Aegis launcher. I'll go ahead and slap that karma onto uh, Alex so that we can uh, be a little bit more effective in ranged combat. Actually, that's an interesting thought. Like I can spend karma and this is considered combat right now. So, would it be a, a decent idea to sort of hold off on spending karma until you actually need it? Because I'm like, oh man, I need to be ranged right now. And then I can go ahead and spend that. That'd be an interesting way to play the game. Anyways, we're going to save the game. And we're going to end things here. So, if you like the video, you like the content, and you would like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.